Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin, and it's Friday, June the 5th. I was reading in the book of Acts recently, in Acts chapter 15, Luke is describing a time of transition and change in the life of the church, and I couldn't help but think that we are in that same kind of season even now as we're trying to figure out how to uh, regather, how to re-engage in what we were doing uh, prior to this pandemic to accomplish the mission that Jesus has given us. In Acts 15, Luke writes that some men came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. There will always be people who want to add something, uh, some religious activity as a condition to our salvation. Uh, there, there have always been those kinds of people. There are those kinds of people even today. Uh, just please hear me very clearly. There is only one condition to salvation, and it is faith. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Uh, Peter pipes up at this uh, particular meeting, and Peter says, God, who knows the heart, bore witness to them by giving them the Holy Spirit just as he did to us, and he made no distinction between us and them, having cleansed their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why are you putting God to the test by placing a yoke on the neck of the disciples that neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? But we believe that we will be saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, just as they will. And so here's a couple observations that I hope will be an encouragement to you today. The first one is this. God gives his Holy Spirit to you the same way he gives his Holy Spirit to anybody who meets this condition of faith in Jesus. Faith in Jesus is really the great equalizer in the family of God. It puts us all on the same level. And when we make distinctions that create an us in and them environment, we we actually end up putting God to the test to to act in ways that will rectify that situation, which he never intended in his family. Uh, another observation from this passage: don't require others to meet a standard that uh, that you haven't been able to meet uh, yourself. Um, uh, it, it's that whole uh, spec and and beam uh, an, uh, analogy that Jesus gave. And then in the end, when everything is said and done, it's really the grace, the grace of God in Jesus that's going to make the real difference in in anybody's life. So let's be focused on uh, spreading. Uh, the good news of Jesus, uh, and inviting everyone that we come in contact with uh, to respond uh, to that invitation that God gives to believe in Jesus. So let me pray for us today. Father, as we uh, bow before you uh, together, uh, we we want to be quick to say, Lord, that we we recognize that there's absolutely nothing that we can do that would uh, merit your grace towards us. There's absolutely nothing that we can do that would put us in a position where we deserve uh, your favor and your hand of blessing on our lives. We thank you that it's it's possible that in Jesus that uh, we we become a part of your family. And, and in turn, we become a part of what you're doing in this world to accomplish your, your purposes, to make yourself known. And, and really, that's our desire. I pray that you would help us to be faithful 
in spreading the good news about Jesus and and as well as the the fame of your name Lord we desire uh, to be a part of that mission uh, in this world in these days in Jesus name I pray amen well I know you're going to want to join me in celebrating our our graduates this coming Sunday morning let's let's really make that a special occasion for them all. And then uh, I'll be meeting with uh, a group of our leaders uh, this coming week to begin to work out all the logistics for how we're going to regather in our worship center for services uh, beginning Sunday, June the 21st. Uh, Would you ask the Lord to give us a clear sense of creative carefulness as uh, as we work through all of those logistics. And in the meantime, uh, thank you for the ways that you are loving our community like never before.